Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well. It's been a while since I made a video, good reason for it. One thing, a lot of modelers, including myself, we slow down during the summer. But on top of that, my little heat and air unit decided it was time to give up the ghost. And this is during that stretch when it was really hot here in Indiana. Um, very uncomfortable out here in my train room, so I wasn't doing too much on the layout. Just wasn't comfortable out here. The last few videos that I made, as I remember, um, I was working on this backdrop and I asked for input. And I did cover a few spots out here. Um, I had an idea, because I use these Outland buildings. Here's one right here. A lot of you probably know about these, some you may not. You can find these on Amazon. They're really kind of cool, modern looking buildings. Um, one thing, if you never bought one, they don't come with instructions, but they're pretty easy to put together. One of the things that I always do is I will take styrene, clear styrene, and I will put it in because these don't come with windows and I will paint them on the back side and put the shiny side out so at least you get a little bit of um, glaze on the building or shininess, however you want to put it. There you go, see that? So, what I decided to do to fill in these spots, these bare spots, I ordered some more of these Outland buildings and I am not going to assemble them. What I'm going to do this one got to be cut down, it's a little too tall. But I'm going to put the back on it to cover the windows. And I'm going to put them out in front of these spots on my silhouettes. Just to cover those up a little bit. And I want the silhouettes to stay, to remain looking like they're in the background. So, what I am going to do is take some uh, plexiglass that I have and I'm going to paint it put it on the back side of this and put it up there and I'm going to use the rest of the buildings rest of the pieces to fill out the other spots on there just to give it a little more um, surface up front and it actually adds to the depth of my backdrop so when I come back I will show you what I've done how I prepared it and put it up there against the wall Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, initially, I said I was going to use uh, clear styrene or plexiglass. And I forgot I had this foam board, which is easier to work with. One thing I suggest, if you're going to cut this, get you a very sharp blade, uh, single edge razor blade, or make sure your X-Acto knife is extremely sharp. Otherwise, sometimes this stuff kind of rolls up around the edges. So, I took the foam board, put it behind the piece that I was going to use and it darkens the windows. One thing you need to do with the foam board, get you some black paint and paint the edges. Now, why am I using this? It still helps to have a little bit of depth is what the plexiglass would have done. I still would have had to paint it around the edges, but it lifts it up off the wall so it's just not flat against your backdrop. So, having done so with those, these are the pieces that I came up with. So this is blackened in here now, and I'm using double-sided tape to put it up against the wall. So I'm gonna put these in the spots that I have lined out for it. So this one's gonna go right here. kind of covers up that big open space there. I have this one, let me go with this one, designated for this spot. Just going over here. Tape will hold them up there. I think that really changes the look of the backdrop. What do you think? Again, kind of slow making videos, still getting estimates on 
my heat and air unit that I need in this place uh, right now being fall is tolerable but I'm definitely going to need some heat in here soon um, don't have a ton of money as I mentioned time and time again I'm a budget model railroader uh, but I need to get that taken care of so once I get that in place I should start putting out more content I appreciate as always the ones who follow me like and share appreciate all the support I can get stay safe out there everyone